Before I get started, I just want to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> I am a white, green-eyed, straight, Christian male who lives in Emoweta. <laughs> what right do I have to be preaching to you all about cultural unity when it was people like me who have been responsible for racial persecution throughout history? What kind of audacity must I have to lecture you all on Te Tauda Tangata when it was people like me who have incinerated entire races? People like me have started wars, enslaved children, stolen and destroyed homes and families, and beaten people simply for using their own languages. Aotearoa is no exception to this. The world says my gender and the color of my skin is a privilege. So why do I feel so ashamed? Ko Taranaki toku maunga, ko Waitara toku awa, ko Tokomaru toku waka, ko Te Atiawa toku iwi, ko Puketapu toku hapu, ko Mururopatu toku marae, ko Caleb toku ingoa. Who am I? Yes, by society's definition, I am privilege. But looks can be deceiving. I am proudly Tangata Whenua, descended from Te Atiawa or Taranaki. I wear a cloak. I am a paradox. In my early childhood, I was living in a low socioeconomic area and attended a decile to school. At age eight, I was uprooted to move to Remuera, and my life turned upside down. This cloak conceals me. I am a paradox. I was an ethnic minority in my first school, which was rich with culture. My new school was 95% Pakeha. There were specialist teachers for everything including Chinese. This cloak protects me, but it conceals the real me. So who am I? Tuhia ki te rangi Tuhia ki te whenua Tuhia ki te nako, o na tangata katoa. I feel like I fit in everywhere, but also nowhere. I'm not Māori enough or Pākehā enough. I am not rich or poor. I fit in in a world that subconsciously honours pale skin, but I am ashamed of the banner that some of my Pākehā ancestors stood under. My mixed heritage puts me in a precarious position. I feel so deeply connected to the Fenua, but I am confused about my Māori identity. I wear a cloak, not a korowai. How can the thread of my cultural identity contribute to making the collective rope stronger. My grandfather was a paradox. He too was helpless to bring together the threads of his racial identity in a society where he was taught to disrespect the Bloody Marys. He was Maori in every conceivable way, but with no knowledge of his whakapapa and no one to guide him. He grew up poor in a family who for generations were ignorant to the blessings of knowing their whakapapa. He was Māori, yet he wore a cloak to disguise himself from the indignation of identifying as such. He donned a Pākehā facade to shield him from the world's injustice, yet he was Māori. Would he have passed away? At 57 from alcoholism, if he had connected with his iwi? Who was he? How can Aotearoa move forward as society when so many of us are lost? 
when Western governments like to fit us into boxes based on predetermined criteria of what we should be. In the first half of 2023, 50% of violent crime offenders were Maori. Maori and Pacific students have the lowest regular school attendance rate at 34%. Maori have the highest smoking figures in the country at 17.1%. Looking at these figures, how could my grandfather have benefited from targeted health and education resources when he did not know who he was? Our lawmakers need to stop putting people into boxes and start supporting people to find their Turanga Waiwai, wherever they come from, or we as a multicultural nation will never truly unite. The differences in New Zealanders' heritage are something to be celebrated. How can we achieve cohesion until cloaks are removed and cultural and social barriers are broken down? How can we achieve empathy and inclusion before we teach our young people about their whakapapa? How can we be proud as a people without learning about the hurts in our history as well as the good? What if we started supporting people in our justice system to learn about their identity rather than throwing away the key? If we stopped box ticking and separating Kiwis based on gender, race, and sexual identity, then just maybe the threads of unity would begin to come together. Ka hore he hurai, ka hore he kariki, ka hore he tāne wahine rānei, he tangata kota hitonu hoki koto katoa i roto i a ihu karaiti. So who am I? Things have changed for me in the last few years. I was randomly asked to be in a musical which depicted the story of Pariaka, a pa situated beneath the shadow of Taranaki Maunga, populated by pacifists who lived by a code of non-violence. One of its leaders was Te Witi Orungumai, from my iwi Te Atiawa. Of course, I played Te Witi. <laughs> Jokes, I was one of the Pakeha soldiers trying to capture him. <laughs> Again, I was wearing a cloak. But this time, it was different. The story concluded with the hope of unity for men of every creed and race. I have since visited Taranaki and Mai Marae, a place my grandfather never visited. But I felt like a part of him was there. Under the mountain, an anthem sounding, echoing through our land. Hate must give way, every tear wiped away. Together as one we stand. I am still wearing a cloak, but it is becoming lighter. Kia ora.